Glaucoma hemifield test and visual field index are two indices that you can find under the gray scale here. GHD is reported as outside normal limits and VFI is 44%. In the glaucoma hemifield test, five zones in the upper hemifield are compared with the corresponding zone in the lower hemifield. And uh, the reports include one of these five conditions, outside normal limit, borderline, general reduction of sensitivity, abnormal high sensitivity, and within normal limits. When the difference between any one of those upper and lower zones is seen in less than 1% of the normal database, it's called outside normal limit. And when it's seen in less than 3%, it's called borderline. When the highest threshold value is lower than 95% of the normal database, it's called general reduction of sensitivity. It's mainly seen in those patients with cataract, myotic pupil, uh, wrong refractive errors, and occasionally in glaucoma patient. When the highest threshold value is higher than 99.5% of the normal database, it's called abnormal high sensitivity, and it's seen in those people with high false positive. And if none of these four conditions apply, this is called within normal limit. VFI is designed to reflect the retinal ganglion cell loss, and it gives central points more weight than the peripheral points. On the left side, we have a general reduction of sensitivity with a mean deviation of minus 6 and VFI of 97%. On the right side, we have only few depressed central point with a mean deviation of minus 0.7 and the VFI of 92%. And the GHD on the right side is reported as outside normal limit because the points in the zone 1A threshold value has been lower than the threshold value in the zone 1b. The VFI is one of the indices that is used for uh, progression analysis and we will talk about this index when we talk about the progression detection.